Hello, and welcome back to Nino Kuni, because we're always in Nino Kuni land these days, because it's freaking awesome. You're sorry if you're expecting Demon Souls, but it's not coming for a while. I'm sorry, because I'm engrossed in this adventure. So, we just about got some magic spells from the Cat King, and his, his Meowdristy, as his, he preferred to be known for whatever peculiar reason. But anyhow, we are now going to have to wait a day, which means going to... Pigeons! Pigeons! <laughs> I'm clearly part dog. Anyway, yeah, we're going to pick up our weapons or some weapons for our familiars from the weapon shop. No less. Yeah, that's how we roll. And I think. I can't actually remember. It's been a little while since I picked up this game, so. <gasps> I know, blasphemy. I really, really, really am enjoying it, so I want to get some more into it. There we go, that's where we're going. To that shop there, that ominous looking place with the massive sword hanging above the door. Imagine if that sword fell down and cleaved you right in half. <sighs> Yeah, that sounds painful to me. Okay, in we go. Let our quest continue, our epic voyage. I don't think we're very cl far into this game. Oh, it's a bird and a cry. Oh, we found him. We found number three. That's the boy we're missing. Yeah, we heal you. Yeah, okay. Your leg's broken. That's cool. Healing touch. Healing superpowers. Wow, it doesn't hurt at all. Now you're amazing. Are you a wizard? Yeah, I'm a wizard. Yeah, go back to your mom, douche. Alright, we done. We saved all the kids. And there's also someone else over here, is there? No. Okay, I'm reading my mini-map upside down, that's fine. Let's talk to the bird. Car, it's you. This is why it's called the Quartermaster. I get it. Car, it's you. This meow just informed me that you would be coming. He instructed me to sell you whatever you require, and I'm more than happy to call cooperate. <laughs> God, these puns. So have a rock around. I'm sure you'll find something here with which to equip your familiars. Equip my familiars? How do you mean, sir? Ah, it seems an exclamation is in order. Very well, then. Here, crows, nothing. To ensure your familiars don't get caught short, you should give them a boost by equipping them with certain items. I don't want to crow, but you'll find plenty of items you to your familiar can equip among my wares. There are three types of weapons, armor and accessories. Just remember that the items a familiar can equip vary according to his genus. It's not a complicated, so don't get into a flap. The best way is to learn just to try equipping your familiars. But don't feel left out, will you? Humans can cause <laughs> equip items too. But select friends and familiars and press X to change the... Okay, we don't need to read the explanation about car. But why not buy a nice matching set of items for your familiar? Birds of a feather stick together, after all. Cool. Oh, okay. Jeez, thanks. Uh, as soon as I have some money, I'll start buying some accessories and stuff. Sounds like this bird has done the proper sales number on your Ollie boy. Just remember that accessories ain't the only thing you can equip. Wizards like you have all sorts of wands as well. Flippin' heck, man. Speaking of wands, we need to go and see your new wand of King Tom, ain't it? Clean it, forgotten I had. Yeah, I, I guess he's probably found it by now. I reckon so, Ollie boy. Come on, let's head for the palace. Can we not buy an item first? Dude, sell me something. Sell me something right now. We have 200 gold, so we can buy something. Uh, we can get this awesome looking sword, or this one. What? Kitchen knife? Well, I don't understand. It puts up magic attack as well, or something. I guess it's magic attack, is it? Do we need that? Not really. Let's get this sword, then. Yeah, let's get the sword. Yeah, we want the sword. Yeah, we got the well-worn sword. Yeah, we'll equip it. Cool. Easy peasy. Anything else? Do we want... Wow, look at that. That looks ugly. He can't equip any of them. He can equip the shield. Nah. Yeah, what's this? No good. Okay, so... Considering he can only equip... We may as well get him the shield as well. Yeah, we'll equip it. Cool. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Yeah, okay, back to the cat. It's really, really odd. There's This is a town of cats and there is a owl shop and a bird shop and a fish shop. Yeah. What was this person looking for? I can't remember. Spring water. Okay. We can finish that quest off with our mother, who I believe is just down here. Yonder. Yonder fell. Yeah, this is the woman. Uh, she should give us some reward, hopefully, maybe some gold. Oh, thank you, the rewards. You patched up a little rascal as well. Your treasure is an absolute treasure. I'm just glad we could help. Oh, I can't wait until they grow up and live will calm down. Here, this is say thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, 50 gold and three pieces of sweet cherry pie. And the quest is complete. Erin complete. We get three stamps. What the heck do stamps do? We don't really know yet. We're pretty close, look at that. It's like a... well, yeah, like I said before, I, in primary school I had something quite similar to that, so maybe it's similar to my primary school thing, where at the end you get, like, 
free time or something. That seems ridiculous because this whole game is like my free time, surely. Eh, I don't know. It doesn't matter. Okay, into the cat place. The cat palace. To visit his meow -justy. I'm never going to get over that. That is amazing. That cat looks really cool. Let's talk to him. Hello, cat. Uh, okay, you're bo quite boring, cats. You look cool, but you're very boring. Boring, 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 boring. You need a freaking awesome personality <laughs> to match your awesome looks. Anyhow, is Meow just is not there. Maybe he passed away from heart failure. That's so morbid. Let's not think that. Maybe he's going to get a snack from the kid. Oh, he's gone missing, hasn't he? Look at this guy. He looks free, frantically worried. Oh, it's you. Thank goodness. Uh, you have to help us. Something terrible has happened. Flippin' man. Don't tell me the old king's gone and had his heart broken again. No, no, his Meow Justy heart is good working order, as far as I know. As far as you know? After all, you restored his heart, his majesty's missing enthusiasm. He was determined to find his old one, so that he could give it to you by way of reward. So determined, in fact, that he said he would go and look for it himself. Well, that a good, ain't it? What's all the fuss about? His Meow Justy has disappeared. Eh? The <laughs> gun. The gatekeepers swear that he hasn't left Ding Dong Dao, and yet he's nowhere to be found. Hmm, I smell a rat up by here, Ollie boy. Well, I suppose there's only one thing for it, eh? What's that, Mr. Drippy? Oh, Ollie, come on. A, a spot of investigation, ain't it? Right, old helmet face. You and your mates keep an eye out on the castle. We're going looking for clues. Uh, uh, yeah, understood. But where do we look, Mr. Drippy? Don't know, Ollie boy. You know the place. You know it very well, in fact. Come on, I'll tell you more when you're outside. Um, okay. I assume we're looking in that little dungeon place that we saw before. That would make sense, would it not? Where are we going, Mr. Drippy? And what this about something I know real well? Where do you think, clever clogs? Motorville, ain't it? Motorville? Well, what does Motorville have to do with finding the king? Well, the answer ain't always going to be over here, Ollie boy. What? What does that mean? You got to remember the whole soulmate thing, ain't it? What we see in this world ain't always the whole picture. Soulmates, eh? Okay. Think about it, Ollie boy. Why are you in your own world, eh? Uh, to save my mum? Exactly, and your mum is a great sage Alicia's soulmate, eh? Uh, we're trying to free Alicia from the soul snare over by here, so we can help your mum back over there, ain't it? Well, that's what you told me, Mr. Drippy. And I ain't flibbing. So people in your world and my world are connected. Not just Alicia and your mum, all people. They are, so? Exactly! You, that's clever of you. There's someone over in your world who's connected King Tom over by here. And when someone in your world is in a pooch, you can sometimes find out how to help them from their soulmate over in your world. Because they're connected, see? Obvious when you think about it, ain't it? So, somebody in my world is King Tom's soulmate, eh? That's right, but maybe not a person, and maybe not in such a lofty position as our friend the Cat King, huh? Well, Shopkeeper's Cat and Ding King of Ding Dong Dao ain't exactly similar status-wise, is it? Shopkeeper's Cat? I don't think I, um... Flippin' up, man! It's like pulling teeth! Okay, so soulmates can look and even act the same right, right? We've covered that already. So when you say, first saw King Tom, you instantly thought to yourself, Hello, hello, he's a spitting image of Timmy the Cat, is he? I, I, I did. So you mean that t King Tom is... King Tom and Timmy Toldrum are, uh, but Miss Layla's cat? That's clever of you. Better late than never. But Timmy's just a cat. Exactly! Like, just like your pal King Tom. What's so strange about that? Crikey, you're not very perceptive for a youngster, are you? If two people are soulmates, there'll be similarities somewhere. You just gotta keep an eye, open mind, and peeled eye. Spot the similarities and you'll find the soulmate. Gee, I never knew. So Timmy, huh? Timmy indeed, my lad. If you can find that old foul art ball, we might get a clue as to where King Tom got himself to. So magic us up a gateway and you'll get over to your world, or shall we? You remember how we don't you? Sure do. Let's go back to Motorfield. Okay, so we're going back to our world. Uh, it seems kind of ridiculous that the people we need are within the same the same village, within Motorville, but uh, whatever. Can't complain, can I? Let's go find the King Tom, because he's disappeared into the netherworld. Oh, 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 no, this is not folklore. It's been a while since I played folklore, actually. Welcome back, Timmy boy. No, Timmy? Timmy? Look for Timmy the Cat in Motorville. Yeah, it really does hold your hand a little bit in the game. Run in front of the car! Look at that instant stopping. Right, dude. Right, man. Right, mate. <laughs> Can't drive anywhere now, can you? You might accidentally hit me. Oh, oh. Whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> Oh man, that's super scary. Let's go into the shop. Layla's milk bar. I don't like. 
I don't know. They they really do hold your hand a bit too much. Miss Layla. Ah, oh, Oliver, seeing you, I I just don't know what to say, my dear. It's fine, Miss Layla. I'm okay now. You are? Well, I'm pleased to hear that, honey. But if there's anything I can do, just let me know, won't you? Actually, there's something you can do for me right now, Miss Layla. You can tell me where Timmy is. Is he in the store? Well, now you mention it, I don't think I've seen Timmy. Timmy? Where's my Timmy Toldrum? He must have run off somewhere, the little rascal. He's probably gone exploring, huh? Oi, Ollie boy, does this little situation remind you of anything? It sure does. It's just like what happened with King Tom. Bingo! We got ourselves a missing cat king in one world and a missing fat cat in another. And I reckon the reason, that, well, why, will be the same. Track down Timmy and you're fi sure to find the vital clue that will help us solve the mystery. That's sharp of you, and here's your, your, your patch in it. You know, it like the back of your hand. Uh, yeah, I'll solve the case of the missing cat in no time. I'm awfully sorry I couldn't help you, dear. But you did help. Thank you, Miss Layla. I, I did? Well, alright then. Goodbye now, dear. Goodbye, Miss Layla. Righto, Wally boy, let's start where you know best, shall we? Round by your house, I mean. Sure, let's go. Alrighty, alrighty. There's a lot of, lot of text. A lot, a lot, a lot of text. But that's fine. We can, we can deal with text. Just. Eh. My reading skill will need to improve, but it'll be fine. I do like to kind of mince words together, which is... Probably not the best thing, but it happens. It's nothing I can really control as of yet. But I'm sure it'll improve over time. So let's head down to our house, to Ollie's house in Motorville. Look at this car. It's pretty much, we almost got run over by the same car, but in yellow. And I wonder if it was that guy, and he was like, Oh god, I've got to repaint my car. Oh, look who's sitting in front of our house. What a surprise. Hello. Say something to me, bitch. Oliver, Oliver, I'm sorry, Oliver. It's you. We haven't looked in your house, have we, Ollie? Boy, I'll run over and check back in a bit. Um, uh, sure, Mr. Drippy. I'm sorry, Oliver. I'm sorry you're all alone. Huh? Your mummy. You know about that? When mum died, I thought she'd be gone forever. I thought I would be all alone. But now, now I can help her. I just need to finish what I started. Oh, I wanted to ask you... That wand, the one I found, did you leave it for me without it? I could never have gone to the other world. Maybe you don't even know what I'm talking about, but if you hadn't been for that wand, I'd still be all alone. Really? Really, really? Really, really? Hooray! I hope you can save your mummy, Oliver. Thank you, but who are you? How do you know my name? I'm P. Really? <laughs> oh, wow. I've always known you, Oliver. Always? So your name is P, huh? Yes, yes, I'm P. Oh, hey, P. Have you seen a big old cat? His name is Timmy Toldrum. He has stripes all over and he's kind of fat. Mr. Kitty? I know Mr. Kitty. Mr. Kitty? I'll take you to Mr. Kitty, Oliver. Follow me. She must mean Timmy, right? Or she could just mean a cat. Oi, Ollie boy, no sign of the old fat in the mog in this house, I'm afraid. What are you doing standing around here by yourself? Anyway, I might just know where to find Timmy, Mr. Drippy. You what? How? Where? Huh? Let's follow P. Please, P. Could you show us? Eh? What is this, then? Oh, you're right, Ollie boy. Let's go, P. Show us where to go. What a stupid name. It's almost as bad as Earthbound calling the character Poo. <laughs> For those of you that haven't played Earthbound, there is a character called Poo in Earthbound, and he joins your party, and he's freaking awesome. P. Show us the way. Please, monsieur. I wonder if P is connected to Oliver anyway. She kind of looks similar. Maybe Ollie is actually a girl in the other world. <gasps> Wouldn't that be a surprise? Not really. He, he does seem reasonably feminine. And then he dyed his hair green because he's also a punk. Whoa, Ollie. You're a massive rebel in the other world. <laughs> well, who would have known it? Who would have thunk it? We're stand in front of the car. Oh, we can't. No. <laughs> danger, danger. P, take me. Where are we going, P? Talk to me. Talk to me, girl. Is this where Timmy is, P? Shh. Huh? Listen, what is that? Squeak, squeak. It's a mouse. Really? A, a mouse? Huh? Is there something through here? Is there? Can Ollie squeeze through there? I don't know. He's not very small. Timmy! Oh, there he is. We found him. He doesn't look anything like the Cat King. Oi, Timmy boy. Pull yourself together, man. Looks like we'd better take him back to Layla, ain't it? Ollie boy. You're right. Thank you so much for showing us, P. Huh? But where was she? Where'd she go? <laughs> Mr. Drippy looks confused. What are you standing around for, lazy bones? Gonna flip and move on. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Oh, okay. You, you carry him. I'll walk back. 
I, I'm pretty sure I can remember the way we went. No, we can't cross the road. It's the boundary of town, the infamous invisible wall that guards motor the citizens of Motorville and causes them to stay inside. You can never escape Motorville. It's a cursed place. A cursed place. <laughs> yeah, who would have thunk it, but it is. <laughs> it is as soon as I say it is, and I said so, so... So, you know. <laughs> I just like saying the same things, really, don't I? All right, back to Layla's shop. Crossing the road, very dangerous, didn't look both ways, but eh, there's hardly any cars anyway. I don't know what time frame this is meant to be, maybe like, it must be post Second World War, right? It's a very nice little village anyway, very villagey village. Miss Layla, we have your cat. Miss Layla, it's Timmy, he's, oh my goodness, Tilly Tundrum, what happened to you? He's stunned. We didn't really find a vital clue though, did we? Oh, thank you, dearie, you brought him all the way back home to mummy. Wasn't he heavy? Uh, no, not really, is he okay? Um, don't worry about Timmy, Oliver. He's nothing serious. It's just a little tired, ain't you, Timmy, dear? It doesn't take much to get tire out a big old boy like you, does it, Snookins? Is that all right? I was flipping sick about him. But what was Timmy doing all the way down at the garage? Well, dearie, one of my customers told me all about it. She said that Rusty's garage is just crawling with mice. And my dear old Timmy just loves to chase the little devils. Timmy loves to chase mice, but he's so far... Thank you so much, Oliver. Now I know that there's where, where he disappeared to. I can stop worrying about him. He was just getting a little exercise, weren't you, my Timmy Tondrum? I guess I could learn a thing from, of two from you, huh? Too flippin' right, you could. Um, okay, Miss Layla, I have to go now. It was nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, nice seeing you. And you, dearie. Just let me know if there's anything else you need to know, won't you? Tidy! We work it out for two weeks, I expect, ain't it, Ollie boy? Um, I don't think so, Mr. Drippy. Come on, Mun! Timmy disappeared because he ran off chasing a mouse, didn't he? So, the mouse is the clue, ain't it? It is? King Tom disappeared? Has to do with mice, too? Got it! In one. Exactly what it has to do with mice is a whole nother question, though. But I'm sure I've heard someone saying something about mice over in our world. Then we should go back to Ding Dong Dell and investigate. I just know we'll find something. Righto, Ding Dong Dell it is. Okay, so we're out of here. Thanks for everything, Miss Layla. We're now going to teleport from your shop back to where we want. Yeah, and I was right. We are going into that little dungeon where that kid, the cool kid with the infusing arm was standing. Yeah, the enthusiastic kid. We're going into there to fight for another day. Here we are in Ding Dong Dell again. Don't talk to me, Drippy. I know where we're going. Although the game also is telling me where I want to go, so it's not a problem, it's not a problem. I don't really know what those do, I can just whittle them around a little bit, but other than that, not really much happens. Okay, to the well, which is, I think, through here. We're going to chase it down. Oh, what's happening? Why is there a queue? Hello, people, what's happening? Oh, so they, they know he went down here, never mind then. That's ridiculous, like, hello. Oh, hey, Oliver. I think I just heard King Tom's voice. He was coming from Ding Dong Dell Well. Huh? Ding Dong Well? Yes, I could hear it coming from the other side of the gate. It was definitely King Tom. I'm sure of it. Ding Dong Dell, eh? You said there were mice lying down there, ain't it? Yes, the place is full of mice. That's why I'm standing here, keeping guard. Mice and cats really don't get along, you see? Oh, knickers. I know what's happened. King Tom's been kidnapped by mice. Kidnapped? That's right. You saw how he went after their mouse in your world? Well, in this world, by here, the tables have turned. The only explanation, Mun. Crikey, it's a good job I'm here to put the two and two together for you, ain't it? If King Tom's been kidnapped, we need to rescue him. Are you going to Ding Dong Well too, Oliver? Then I'm coming with you. Don't be daft, Mun. This is a job for professionals, ain't it? Not some underage vigilante with a saucepan for a helmet. I'll be okay. I have my friends with me. Oh my god, can he fire summon familiars too? No. He can... Oh my god, he has a monkey! That's so cool! I want the monkey! He has a familiar. This must be a familiar, surely. Look at that! A flippin' familiar! Well, I never! He followed me home when I went to play in the woods, and he's really strong. It's, if he's with me, I'll be fine. You don't quite get it, do you, Sunshine? Fighting with familiars is flippin' hard. Your average person can't just jump into the fray and start ordering them around. You need to be a wizard like Ollie Boy here. Okay then, Ollie. You can have my familiar. Gee, thanks, Tommy. Thanks so much. What? That was easy. We will leave his name alone. He's going to call Lemlo Lemar? Lemar? We better head down there, right? Indeed, we had, Ollie boy. Leave it to us, Tommy, my bad. 
All right, be careful, Oliver. Thank you. Right, so we gained a familiar for no real apparent reason, but still. Hey, Ollie boy, it looks like you got a new familiar of yours to psych up. I, I can? Gee, what does that mean, Mr. Drippy? Well, it means you sort of builds up its strength for a bit, ain't it? So if you get a baddie, it's a proper whacking it like. Some familiars, once a familiar is psyched up, instead of just attacking like normal, you can let it go wild. And when a familiar goes wild, it attacks for, for longer and does loads more damage. Gee, that sounds real neat. It gets better, Ollie boy. The new technique of yours will make it easier to cancel enemies' actions as well. Cancel enemies? Huh? What? Yeah, Mum. I should have told you about this earlier, I suppose. Some creatures just have some nasty tricks up their sleeves, see? But give them a whack when they're getting ready to try one, and they won't be able to pull it off. It's be cancelled, ain't it? Cancelling enemies' actions like this is a much easier when you go wild, so it's a good way to keep yourself safe from harm and all. The only thing is, familiars that can psych up can't defend for toffee. It just ain't in their nature for a feisty little brighters. Anyhow, now that you've got little two mates, you soon see for yourself that all creatures are different. I guess I will. Awesome, so into the well we go. I guess this is the first dungeon of the game. And eh, oh yeah, what are you going to do? Thank you very much for watching, and next time, we'll queue into the well. Till then, good night.